I mean, when it comes to climate change and its intersection with water resources, there are multiple dimensions that are impacted in how it bleeds over. Uh, I think one of the most direct ways that climate change affects water resources is at a first tier level, uh, diminishing available supplies. And specifically, when I talk about that, I'm referring to surface uh, river systems. Uh, that is a significant source of supply for many countries and communities around the world. Uh, Advent of climate, climate change brings on higher temperatures like we've seen this summer. And with those higher temperatures, those surface systems experience more evaporation and less generation of water supply at their headwaters. The cascading effect from there is how that diminishment in water supply availability then trickles into a water demand. And in fact, what ends up happening is we see an inflation in water demand across various sectors. Agriculture, agricultural water use, which is a large water consumer, increases its footprint in terms of water needed, not just as a source of demand, but also irrigation requirements. The warmer it is because of climate change, the hotter it is, crops require more water to irrigate. And we see a similar impact in other sectors like residential water use. Uh, where uh, human populations, cities and urban areas also increase their water footprint, and then also uh, other types of water use uh, for industrial water uses that support cooling and power plants as well.